I'm very pleased to announce uh, that we are going to be offering new IT qualification from 7th May 2021. This is because of the changes in the recent ICT training package. Now, today I'm very pleased to welcome Dr. Paul Waters, an academic dean at Academies of Silicon Polytechnic. He's also a trusted cybersecurity advisor and a founder of Cyber Astronomy Private Limited. What do you think of the competency selection in our qualification? I think what I really like about these new programs is really a focus on two of the big, big changes. And so one of them is obviously around cloud and virtualization. So things that you would have done on a desktop or a server, you know, five, 10 years ago, you know, everything is going into, into commodity cloud providers. And this makes things cheap, scalable, accessible. Um, you know, if the students want to look at, you know, AWS, just look at the list of things that you can essentially just click a button and deploy. I mean, it is, it is just astonishing. And that's really exciting. But of course, the flip side of that is that once you begin deploying into the cloud, then you get the other side, which is the not nice side, which is all the hackers and crackers who are really expert at pulling apart those cloud architectures and trying to break in and breach those systems. So what I really like about the new programs is that there's a really strong focus on, yep, let's be productive in cloud and virtualization, but let's also, even from the very first subject, looking at ethics and privacy, to think about how you know the business impact um, you know can be can be affected by by cybersecurity issues. Uh, moving on to my next question, Paul. Uh, what chances do you think uh, students have of securing a job in an IT industry once they complete this qualification, advanced diploma? Look, ICT has been on the skilled occupation list for many decades now. And, you know, we, we just don't train up enough people in ICT to, to keep up with demand. Honestly, if people train up now in, in Asia, in AWS, these new technologies, or if you're more interested in that sort of cybersecurity, you know, penetration testing or, you know, uh, regulatory and, and compliance issues. I mean, there's something like 1500 cybersecurity jobs on LinkedIn today in Australia. Uh, and there's plenty of work. It is also really high paid work. You know, again, if you yeah. look at salary ranges for for people with cloud skills, with cyber skills. I mean, they are all six figure uh, salaries in most cases, if you've got a bit of experience. Plus this uh, skills is applicable anywhere in the world too, you know? Uh, so Correct. I think I think that's why, it, it, uh, that's one of the most big advantages I see in IT, IT jobs. Plus uh, you are not bound by geography, look, geographic, you know? You can stay anywhere. You can be in an, in an island and do your work too. Okay, uh, somebody wants to study this course from certificate four level. Do they need to have any experience or they can gain those experience and skills along the way? I think definitely, you know, at Cert 4 level, you know, you can come in with knowing absolutely nothing. And, uh, you know, with the kind of structured program that we have in place, you know, really by the end, you will have learned everything that, that you need to progress further and really get those basic core skills. As you know, our students come from all over the world. Uh, most of them want to pursue their education into higher education. So they want to go and do a bachelor's or master's. So, and one of the questions that we get asked is, okay, I finished my advanced diploma, spent here two years doing that qualification. So how many credits would I get if I go to a university? You know, obviously if they get credit, it's just a cost saving for them and yes. save time and money. So what is your view on that? Look, I would say typically, you know, an Australian ICT degree is usually three years in length. Um, and so because of the way the AQF is structured, you know, it's it's natural that students can do a diploma, advanced diploma, uh, and then move into the final 50% of a bachelor's degree. Uh, and in many cases, be better prepared than the students who started at university. I think this is something really that for students to really understand, and I can say this myself, having started in vocational, that start with the hands-on stuff first yeah uh, and i think that's the other thing to to mention you know and, and it's obviously not not the most important thing but for many students you know money is a consideration right, and that's right. it is it is much cheaper to do the first 50 percent of a bachelor's degree through vocational 
Correct. Than it is to pay university fees for for three whole years. Yeah. You know, I think our our philosophy at Academies Australasia is to make education accessible and affordable for everyone, and that's always been our philosophy. Having said that, Paul, I would like to thank you so much for your time today, and uh, I hope you have a good day. My pleasure, Deb, and I look forward to seeing all of our students back on campus very yeah. soon.